Hello to this new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you create 3D models from simple prompts, so text to 3D. So parts of it were treated in tutorials before. You cannot do text to 3D without image to 3D, so this is also part of this tutorial. The workflow is based on the standard ConfUI workflow and it's quite straightforward. We are generating an image, then remove the background and then fill it into the TripoSR sampler and this generates our 3D model. That's it, quite straightforward. Let's start right in. I load the default workflow, choose the model you like, write your prompt. For this, I choose a little colorful bright fantasy figure on white background. Be sure to choose a prompt which makes it easier for the AI to distinguish what is background and what is foreground. So it can create a mask and separate the background from the foreground to make it easier to translate everything into 3D space. It can be helpful to write something like one white background or separate it from background. You can also type in digital asset, which will also give you a more like separated object. For the negative prompt, I like to do this text watermark objects in the background. This maybe helps that there are no background objects generated in addition to the foreground object we want to transfer into 3D. Then the normal case sampler, then we take this save image and change it to preview image. We then want to use a RAMBG a remove background node. You maybe have to install the VAS node suit. It's um, linked in the description below. Put this to this. The other settings can stay like this. Then I like to transfer this image mask we get into a mask. So image to mask. This is a standard default node. We choose the alpha channel here. Let's make another preview here. Maybe another preview here. So mask to image and preview this again so we can see how the mask looks. Double click on the background and search for Tripor SR. We need the sampler. We can fill in the mask to the reference mask input. We can fill the image to the reference image input and we need the model. Select the Tripo SR model. You have to download it or it maybe uh, is downloaded during the installation process or the first use. And then we can output our mesh and that should be it. Let's give it a try. That looks quite nice. Let's generate another one. So for me, this is working quite nice. Um, the Triper SR sampler generates OBG files, which you will find in your output folder. If you really want to do something with it, you might have to edit them in software like Blender 3D to optimize uh, it and make it really great 3D objects. But this can give you a, a good start for generating 3D objects. The installation process of the Tripo SR is much easier than uh, if you would use the CRM nodes. And that should be it. Now you know how you generate 3D objects from text. I will upload this workflow to my Patreon page. There you can find most of my other workflows. Not all, but I will upload them step by step uh, over the next weeks. Be sure to get a Patreon and I hope to see you soon again. I will link the Patreon page in the description below. Hope you liked this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.